Okay guys, so what we have here is a DD15 and we have the oil coolant module removed. Now we're having to remove it to do a complete flush. I'm gonna show you what the oil coolant module all includes, but I just kinda wanna show you how big of a job this is and I wanna show you what to be looking for so you don't have to actually have this type of job done. If you find a broken component, which I'm gonna show you later, this is something that's gonna need to be done if you have mains, uh, which is, are gonna be your main bearings, any damage, if there's any signs of damage on your mains. We're actually replacing the crank on this particular engine. Unfortunately, that's what we're gonna have to move forward with on this. But I'm gonna show you what you can do to avoid this happening to your particular DD15. So as I said, oil cooler module is removed. This is a pretty large component. It's of course what cools the oil, it filters the oil. And there's also a standpipe that I'm gonna show you here that will cause this type of damage. 